used to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 pin
Yes, please. It's pointless. There are already so many words in the world. Do you want me to be your Pupalupta? Rosa, you don't look like a Munga Bubalupta. A pretty one. My friends, this is amazing. We are all on the verge of the greatest of discoveries. This is just incredible, phenomenal, squared, cubed even. Oh. Here comes another little lecture. And no mistake. Consider that our solar system has been studied and no longer contains any high profile discoveries. In the center is the sun, around which there are eight planets rotating and many other objects remaining after the formation of this system. Some of these remains are in the form of pieces of ice from the methane, ammonia, and water forms from the Kuiper Belt. But recent studies of objects in the Kuiper Belt revealed an interesting pattern. Some of them showed the same strangeness in motion. Explaining this strangeness, if you add to the calculations, there's a new planet, about which previous astronomers simply did not suspect. Such a planet would be 10 times heavier than the Earth and would move along a strongly elongated elliptical orbit making a complete revolution around the sun roughly every 50,000 years. Of course, this is still a theory, but the probability of error is estimated at only 7 thousandths of a percent. To confirm this theory, you need to find a new planet in the telescope. Given its huge orbit, this will take at least five Earth years. But the search is very much worth it. If successful, the reward would be a ninth planet in our solar system. Can you imagine a new planet? That's just mind blowing. Great news, colleagues. And what should we call it when we find it? I hadn't thought about it, but I guess maybe we could... Wait, Um, uh, I think... We all know what we're going to call the planet. Well, let's get on and find it. Hmm? Yeah! Huh. Yay! Oh, yeah! Yay! Yay! Search and calculated sectors concluded. New planet not found. Repeat. New planet not found. Hmm. Well, well. These things happen. Yeah, yeah. But eight planets is not bad either. Who'd believe it? Such a small margin of error and it worked. I doubt anything could pick me up. Wait, wait, wait! No promises. Oh! Rosa.
Rosa. Can I look at Rosa? Rosa? But you know, that's what it is. Are you serious? Never been so serious. This is a typical Mumba Goomba Loopta. <laughs> Mumba Poopa Loopta? <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I recognized it. That's it. We found the Mumba Poopa Loopta. <laughs> Mumba Poopa Loopta. <laughs> My dear friends, this is truly incredible! I just slightly amended my calculations, and look! She's beautiful! Isn't she? Ten times the weight of the Earth! Everyone, Munga Booba Lupta! Munga Booba Lupta! And now, your word really is a word! And the whole world will know it! <laughs> oh? <laughs> Sorry, guys. But I already found a meaning for my word. Rosa, could you demonstrate our Munga Booba Lupta? Look! 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 Duh! Uh... And we don't! Need another! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here it is! Hmm, and what do you think? Ni, 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 biru. That's good too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>